Branding is so much more than just having a business name, color palette, and a logo. Hi, I'm Tracy, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are talking about branding, and I have 10 things which your e-commerce store should be doing to ensure that you are bringing customers in and making them stick around. Ensuring that your brand is doing all of the things on this list will increase your brand awareness and your sales. So if you're not doing any of these things, it's time to make a change. We all love a good story and the content you share on social media and your website gives you the opportunity to tell your unique brand story build awareness and create loyal fans. Talk about what you have done to start the business, why you started the business and where you see the business going in the future. Every brand has a mission or promise which they provide with their products. It could be a promise of quality or being eco-friendly or something else which is unique to your brand. This brand promise needs to be shared everywhere you can. You need to be telling everyone you meet what your promise or mission is. Most e-commerce platforms have some form of review system. Now, bad reviews can destroy the reputation of a shop, so you don't want to be getting any of them. The best way to ensure that you never get a bad review is to provide exceptional customer service. Respond to messages and requests within a few hours. Deliver early, exceed expectations, and be friendly and helpful in every single conversation you have. A promise is only good if you actually keep it. Have a set of standards which you check every product against before you send it out. If the product does not reach those standards, then don't send it out and make another one. Make sure that you have realistic standards and don't set them too high to reach the majority of the time. And ensure that every member of your team knows these standards and is actually sticking to them as well. Ensure that your customers know exactly what they are getting before they purchase. Not only to prevent returns and bad reviews, but also to help them feel secure in their purchasing decision. The main two expectations to set are delivery times and price. You will have others, but they will vary from product to product. Some examples of these variables are size, shape, color, material, and weight. What is the one thing that makes your product or brand stand out and be different from the crowd? It may be part of your brand promise or a specific function of your product. You should be talking about this with any potential customers on a regular basis. Connections are a big part of the selling process as people tend to buy from businesses that they know, like, and trust. From doing market research, you will have a clear idea of who you are selling to, what their interests are, and even the language that they use. Knowing this information will allow you to talk to your audience in a way that will grab their attention and be easy for them to quickly understand and take in. The best way to build brand awareness is to share something about the brand on social media on a regular basis. You should be sharing content at the same time each week to get the best results. 
before you decide on a time, do some tests to work out what time of the day or week gives you the best or most engagement. Consider using a scheduling app to ensure that your posts are going out at the same time each day or each week. The way that your brand looks is very important. You want to have a memorable name, logo, and tagline so that people can easily find you again. Colors and the way you lay things out for visual content such as photos are also important. Pick three colors which you like and fit with your brand, story, and promise. Place your products and props in the same place for each photo. Having a plan for content will allow you to easily bring in your brand promise, set expectations, connect with your clients, be consistent, and tell a story on a regular basis. This plan can be done on a monthly or weekly basis. Part of the strategy should also include analyzing previous content and making changes to future content to improve your reach over time. So that is the 10 things that your brand should be doing. Once you've got your brand doing all of these things successfully, then your business will start to grow and the sales will start to come in more regularly. Remember, starting a business is a marathon, not a sprint. So take your time to get each of these branding requirements working perfectly. If you would like to learn more about how to include your branding in your photos, then check out my Take Stand Out product photos program. The link is in the description. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more tips on how to improve your e-commerce store. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.